I am Maisie Vincent and today I'm joined with KNWA reporter and anchor Samantha Jones. Samantha, let's rewind back and see what, what made you want to pursue broadcasting. To be honest, I really don't know. <laughs> um, I started out at the university as a pre-nursing major and couldn't for the life of me pass chemistry and decided about my junior year, I guess, that I needed to do something else because I couldn't be in school forever. Um, and pretty much woke up one morning, thought television would be fun, changed my major, and haven't looked back since. Well, once you got rolling, was it what you expected? Oh, absolutely. I remember walking into uh, FOJ the first day and thinking, this class is so easy, and it all came so naturally that it just, it all just felt right. Well, I know a lot of students in this class are about to graduate. Can you tell us about how, what it was, that job hunt as a senior? Oh man, I didn't really start looking until after I graduated. Um, so I graduated in December and uh, sent out my reel um, and had you know stations calling me back. I had stations in Mississippi, West Virginia, um, some places I didn't even apply had just seen my reel on YouTube and were contacting me. So that was kind of neat. Um, and then when it came down to deciding where I wanted to be, um, I knew I didn't want to be in West Virginia because I was too far from home and it was an 18 month contract and it just wasn't anything that I wanted to do. Um, and so when the station in Lawton called me, I was like, okay, well that's not too bad. It's an hour and a half or an hour from Oklahoma City. It's two hours from home. So it's in an area that, you know, I'm close to home and like in a metropolitan area where I would be comfortable. Um, and there was also no contract. So if I decided if I didn't like it, that I could leave at any time that I wanted. Well, great. In this career field, we have to have a very open mind on where we want to go. What was going through your head when you were applying for stations across the country and away from your family and kind of away from your normal? Um, just kind of the adventure and being able to, it is an interesting career field because much like nursing, you can work anywhere. There's television stations anywhere, so you can pretty much decide where you want to be and be there as long as you are what they're looking for. So were, were you nervous about that? Did you say, okay, I want to go far away, I want to stay close, or were you just wherever it's going to take me? I, I applied everywhere with the intention of going wherever the job was, and then when it came down to it and it was like, okay, do I sign this contract and be not even a drive from home, I have to fly home for very little money and I can't afford to fly home, or do I choose a place that's close to home? It definitely was easier to choose the place that was close to home, especially for my first job. Exactly. What was it like moving to a new city and trying to quickly be in the know for the news in a place where you've never been before? Oh man, that was rough. It was hard. I mean, it's still hard here and I was here for four and a half years. Um, so you kind of just have to completely immerse yourself in what's going on and make those contacts quickly or it's going to be a rough ride. So when you got there, did you just go around and start introducing yourself or did you have your team help you or how was that process? The newsroom was pretty helpful. Um, I was on the city of Lawton Beach, so that kind of made it easier because I was dealing with a lot of city council stuff and so you kind of make those connections quickly because there were city council meetings every week. So I was able to build those pretty fast. Well, earlier you said you produce and anchor your own stuff. Um, what was that like getting used to something like that? Um, I started anchoring and producing in Lawton after about two, two and a half months of being there. And the only time I had ever produced was here, and I had done it one time. So that was kind of interesting. I learned to produce pretty quickly. Um, but it is nice being able to anchor and produce your own newscast because then you have complete control over what's in it, what's being said, what's being read, what's going on air. Um, it's, it's nice to have complete control. So it's very different when you have to go back and forth from someone producing for you and you producing your own stuff? Yeah, it's just different. Because um, every producer kind of has their own style. So anchoring someone else's newscast and fitting in with the vision of what they had for that segment, for that 30 minute show, whatever, is different than just doing it for yourself. I see. So what is your favorite thing to do? When you wake up, what do you want to go do every single day? If I could anchor and produce every day, I think I would enjoy it. Reporting so, is fun, but it's a lot of work. What did you think is the main difference between going out in the field and being behind the desk? Um, out in the field, the hours are a lot longer. Um, there's a lot more pressure out in the field, I think, to you know bring back a good story, something solid. Um, and anchors, I mean, you're on air, and if you know something goes left you have to pick it back up and pretend like it never happened so I mean there there are differences mm -hmm. what do you think is your biggest challenge um, in this work field oh goodness 
Um, I don't know. That's a good thing that you can't think of anything. <laughs> I mean, there are. Every day it has a new challenge, I think, that kind of surprises me and gives me something to learn from, which is also good because it's a career field where you're always going to be learning and should always be striving to get better. So KWA is your second station. What um, was that trigger to know that it was time to leave the station in Oklahoma? That's a good question. Um, I just kind of reached a point. I'd been there for almost nine months, and um, they were going to try and re-sign my contract after the station got bought out. But that's a whole long story. But um, <laughs> it was to the point where it was either re-sign with the station for another two years after I'd already been there for nine months, or take my nine months of experience and see where I could go. I mean, if it had been that it was nine months and I couldn't go anywhere that I wanted to be, I would have just stayed. But I had the opportunity to go to several other stations and was willing to do that, op was willing to take those. Well, how has it been being back in Arkansas and being around? You're familiar. I love it. I'm so <laughs> happy to be back. Um, and it's nice because I still have friends here and it's nice to be able to come back to the university and do things like this because being able to give you know the students insight on things that I experienced and you know teachers being able to you know teachers can tell you everything all day long and you can listen it's like your parents like your parents can tell you you know don't don't touch the fire but you're going to want to touch the fire you have to learn on your own so if I can come back and kind of be the liaison between the teachers and the students and say no what they're telling you is real um, that's fun for me well everyone has that long-term goal uh, what is yours what are you looking forward to where do you see yourself in the in the near future? Um, eventually I would like to um, find a station that I like, whether it's you know top 50 market, top 25 market, um, but a station that I like with people that I like and to be a main anchor there and be there for the rest of my career, have a family, um, and pretty much that, yeah, that's pretty much it. So there's not a certain location, just wherever the wind takes you? Yeah, pretty much. I'm, I'm open to just about anything. Well, that's what how it has to be. So it's crazy to think that you were sitting where I am just a few years ago. So do you have any advice for us who, us youngins who are about to jump in and do what you want to do? Oh, man. Keep an open mind um, and listen to criticism. Criticism is hard, but at the end of the day, it is there to make you better. And um, you'll look back. I mean, I watched my reel from college probably every three or four months just to look at it and go, wow, like you, you really have improved. Um, and it can happen so quickly if you're paying attention to what people are telling you and critiquing yourself also. Well, great. Thank you so much, Samantha. For Samantha Jones, Kane WA reporter and anchor, I'm Maisie Vincent. We'll be right back.